Hi, it's Shub. I have some things to talk about going into 2020, and I just want to sort of clarify what I think is going to be happening to my channel and what I think I'm going to be doing. Um, let's just get the big thing out of the way. I don't think Kappa will affect me too much. You see, supposedly the FTC is also, besides just taking in contacts or context of the videos you're making, they're also going to take in the profit that you're making from your videos. And as I've stated in my in the about section of my channel, I never monetize any of my content unless I say that I am monetizing it. So through all of the videos I have made throughout this past year and anything forthcoming, I am making no money off of this and I'm doing it for you, the viewer. So I really don't think I have much to worry about. And I have stated multiple times in that about section that my content is definitely not directed for children as I <laughs> do some mature stuff in my video, whether it be like references to drugs or something, maybe some crude or adult humor, things of that nature. And I also don't find that my content would be interesting for children. So that, that's just a clarification. Um, my Ready? content is not for kids Go. and will never be for kids. So don't plan on letting your five-year-old watch my Smash content because it's definitely not suited for them. Um, and another thing, so I have these, um, I have these series on my channel, but some of them have been, you know, halted for now. But that was because around a month ago, my Xbox stopped allowing me to record my Switch through it, so I couldn't um, play Smash Live. I had to um, basically do the thing I did before I found that system, where I had to save a replay, load it in, edit, all that stuff. But recently, in fact this Christmas, I got a capture card, so now I'm able to record Switch and Xbox and stuff like that at 1080p 60 frames a second, so for one, my content will be at a better quality than it used to be, and two, I can record Xbox and Switch series again. So Road to Elite Smash, I expect episode 4 I think it is to come out sometime either start of January or mid-January, but I want to get it out as soon as possible because I really want to play Elite Smash with Rob again. So, that, that's going to be really fun. And now I can record my Xbox at a way higher quality than when I was just streaming it. So, I am now able to, you know, play things like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Rocket League, Skate 3, maybe I'll do that. Um, who knows? And... I'm just so ready for the future because I'm able to do all that stuff at full quality, nice microphone balancing, just something I can do for everyone watching my channel to enjoy. And this whole capture card thing is also awesome because I can finally have, you know, a good way to record Discord and Skype as I record. So if I were like playing with friends in a battle arena you know, and Smash, for example, I you know, would be able to hear everyone in the arena chat in my video as it's happening. And it's amazing because there's like no lag, there's no weird stutter issues like before. It is perfect, buttery, crisp, smooth gameplay. Oh yes, it's, it is just fantastic finally be able to put out some good quality content for the viewer. I, I am just going to enjoy this next year so much. Um, in my about section, you'll notice at the top that I have games other than Smash Ultimate listed, sort of like, you know, Super Mario Maker 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Rocket League, all that stuff, but I really didn't want to record that because I didn't know how the quality would turn out in streaming. But now, I've got this capture card and I have a good audio setup, so... And now, I am able to record Super Mario Maker, which is a good thing, because I have a ton of levels that I want to actually share with the world, even though there is some plays on them. Um, I want to play Modern Warfare more, just because now that my quality will be better and that I have a better setup, I can now listen to directional audio without interfering with the video, so that's going to be fun. Rocket League is also a really fun game. I don't know if I'm going to just be playing solo. I might... You know, invite people over, do some co-op, ranked with them and stuff. There is just so much content I can make now that I have a capture card, it's crazy. 
So, and there's another series I want to talk about besides just the Road to Elite Smash. It's my Super Meat Boy series. So, sometime I think in July, I recorded Chapter 4, and it, it was a hard world. I struggled so much with it. But the thing is, well, the audio in that, my mic audio, did not record. So it was just me playing, and that basically rendered the footage unusable. So, that sort of just left me demotivated to record any more Super Meat Boy, but I'm thinking that um, next year, 2020, I'm probably going to try playing Chapter 4 of Super Meat Boy, but I'm not going to be, you know, going for A+, plus or bandages or anything, because I'd already done that, <laughs> and that's, since I can't really, you know, reset my save, I'm just going to have to act like I haven't played those before, so... There was some fun obstacles, and I kind of do want to get back into that, because that's going to be hilarious. Also, um, now that, you know, I have this great setup <laughs> that I didn't have before, inviting my friends over and stuff or just casting online will be way more of a pleasurable experience to watch, since there won't be as much, you know, basically what I've said before. There won't be as many video issues or audio issues, everything will balance correctly, and everything will be good, it'll be happy, it will be incredible. I'm trying to think of other stuff I could say, but I really don't have much. I mean, I've talked about Kappa, I've talked about my new capture card, I've talked about this better setup that I have. I don't really think I have anything else to talk about, really. Everything that I wanted to say, I have said, so... That's maybe I'm trying to think of something to say, but I really don't have anything to say. <laughs> this is very weird. I had this thing up in my head just to talk about things that would happen to my channel, but I really don't have much because I've said everything on my mind. I thought there would be more. <laughs> I guess not. So, oh, here's another thing. Okay, so I'm planning on um, starting live streaming sometime in 2020, hopefully at the start of 2020. I don't know why I haven't been streaming for a while, it's been like six months, so I'm hoping I can get back into that. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, I might be streaming on YouTube, but I really don't know. I don't have any par partnership with either of them, so I don't really care which one I stream on. It's just, I don't think my... Twitch content reaches a wide enough audience, or at least as much of an audience as my YouTube content. So maybe if I live streamed on my YouTube, I would get more views and stuff, but who knows? And maybe there'd be more people interacting, but I really have no clue what I'm going to do with that. So I don't have anything else to say. Let's just hope that January 1st, 2020, that YouTube is still around, and that your favorite creators, including me, <laughs> clearly, subscribe, can, you know, thrive on the platform and not be bolted down by our own society. So, let's just hope everything goes okay, alright? We have, like, less than two days till that COPPA rule, or the new, refreshed one, comes into effect. We'll see what happens, okay? Who knows what'll happen? Uh, I love you guys. Subscribe. Uh, I'm signing off. Goodbye. I'm really bad with outros, sorry.